Hawkins here with Chicken Rock Farmstead. Today I got a quick one for you, but it's really cool, and that's why I gotta show you. I recently picked this little doodad up. I think the regular price was uh, 40 bucks with uh, Struggleville watching him. Uh, I got it through a discount code and stuff for 10 bucks. It is a label maker. Label makers are one thing, but when it comes to free dry food, there's a lot of writing to do. Check this out. Yep. So now I don't have to worry about my crappy handwriting. When I label my freeze dry food, the date's nice and clear. This is, it's a thermal printer, but it's also like smudge resistant. I literally just printed these out. You know, that's going to work a lot better than my Sharpie that I've been doing, where half the time I can't even read the date. And you can make cool little pictures on this thing. So I was just looking, scrolling through some of the pictures on the app, and <laughs> found a little picture of milk. We got freeze dried milk here. Got some soup over there. I'm about ready to print off some labels. The app is so intuitive. Um, the link to this particular one, you see the brand name right there. Was it Nibot label printer? Yeah. And it even comes with, a, I think it's 150 labels when you buy it. Refill labels, I think you get around 180. They're about $13 for a roll. So that's not bad. Normal price is around 40. But if you keep an eye on it, I've been seeing it on sale for around 20. Great little thing. If you got bad handwriting or you want really nice looking tags that are going to last for a long time, I would definitely check these out. My only issue I could think, because it is a thermal printer, heat, you know, like direct sunlight, like if you leave your receipt in the window, might cause an issue. But these things should be stored in a cool, dry place anyways. So there's that. You know, you don't want direct sunlight on this kind of stuff. Uh, and if that's even an issue, I don't know. I'm going to test it out later, so make sure you like, share, and subscribe and see about that. But, man, I love this thing. I bought it just for my personal use and because I got it so cheap. But check it out. Link below. And check out, I'll leave a link to struggleville.net. He's got tons of uh, awesome deals that he finds all the time. Have a good one.